few years ago, the governor of our state came to our state JC convention to give a speech and to induct the new state officers. He himself had been a JC back in the day, and he was really energized and excited to see the rebirth and the kind of the revitalization of the organization here in our state. And he told a story about competitions that has really stuck with me to this day. He said when he was a young man, he was, believe it or not, not very comfortable with public speaking. So he decided to enter the JC Speak Up competition to kind of hone his skills. Now, the caveat is that a few days before state convention, his wife gave birth to the first child. He said that at one point his wife told him that she and the baby were fine, that they could both use some rest, and that he should go home from the hospital and work on his speech. Well, that's exactly what he did. You see, he knew that this was a skill he needed to develop. I don't know if he had political aspirations at that point in his career, but he knew public speaking was important and that the junior chamber was the best place to develop that skill. He, of course, went on to become a multi-term congressman and later the governor of our state, but he credits many of these base skills to the JCs and the importance of competition. At this year's national convention in Seattle, we followed around a few competitors to learn a little more about their experiences with competition. I'm here today to compete in the Brownfield competition. The Brownfield competition is a competition for first year JCs. There is a portfolio segment where you create a portfolio of your first year, everything you've done in your first year, and then you go in for an interview session to see how well you think on your feet. And I'm absolutely excited and just enthusiastic about the competition. I have competed in Speak Up and I've competed in JC Jeopardy as well as the outstanding young person for my state and this is just an organic next step for me to compete in the Brownfield competition. Well let me tell you, I was actually moving to Seattle and I have had three unbelievably difficult interviews in the last two days and this competition, preparing for this competition, absolutely prepared me for my career and everything that I'm doing now. Doing Speak Up and doing these competitions actually make it better for myself because I get more comfortable with myself and get comfortable with my surroundings and getting up in front of people. I've been a manager in different businesses before and trying to have that one-to-one -one conversation, sometimes you have to think of what you're going to say. Um, and that Speak Up has helped me with that because I not only have to understand my, my audience and figure out where their information is coming from, but I actually have to put it in words that they would understand. So I find myself um, in the real world getting up in front of people and talking to people and trying to figure out where they come from and kind of use that to my advantage when I talk to them. I won the uh, John Armbruster Award, which is for someone who's been in the JCs for two years or more, and also JC Jeopardy, which is in honor of the legacy of this organization. It was worth it for myself to find why am I part of this organization as more for a representation of my state, who I come from, our chapters, the members and the projects that we do. It's not about the award, it's about the professionalism, the skills, the mindset you get out of it. And it's more about, like I said, learning what amongst yourself what you do, why you do it, and how you emulate that into your works. I think it's clear that participating in the United States JC's competitions will help you hone the skills you need to take you as far as you want to go. We look forward to seeing you in next year's competition.